book is about more than just the electric bass and its history. It's about collecting itself. It's about that collector's gene that people have. A lot of people never have enough money or access to these kind of instruments because they are rare and, and, and very often very expensive, especially guitars, much more so than uh, basses. People want to see them. People want to see the instruments that, that, uh, that other nerds collect or that great musicians play. So I have a lot of these books at home and I realize there isn't really a definitive one on the bass guitar. So to me, it seemed like there was an injustice here that the vintage bass guitar needed to be as well represented as vintage electric guitars are. This is one of the rarest jazz basses that I own. Uh, it was made in 1965 and you can see that it's quite a sparkly little devil. You know, I was a stamp collector when I was a nerdy kid. Uh, I get great pleasure out of uh, holding a thing and then trying to figure out the environment that it came from. It's, they're like windows to the past. Neil Peart is retired. I'm still here. Alex is still here. Uh, will we perform as Neil, Alex, and Getty on tour ever? Probably not. Um, will we record together as Neil, Alex, Getty? Probably not. Uh, will Alex and I make music on our own one day or individually one day? Probably. I don't think in our heart of hearts we believed it was the end, even though it did turn out to be the end. Uh, maybe we would have served our fans better if we had just accepted that reality that, yeah, this is going to be our last tour and tell everybody. But they sort of had that sense and they came out because of it anyway. But I wasn't really interested in capitalizing on something that may not be true. So it seemed to me much hipper just to go out and play. And if it's the end, then it's the end. Uh, whereas I hear Kisser doing their first farewell tour. Ha, ha, ha.